Okay, so we're going to do just a quick video today of how I lay down Alclad's Alk 305 Gloss Black Base. Now, a quick reminder of uh, where we got to so far. Firstly, we've given the MiG-21 a good priming with Alclad 309 Primer and micro Black Primer and Microfiller. Now what this does is it fills in all the little scratches. It acts like a little bit like Mr. Surface as we said before, but it is superb stuff. Um, you'll find, well, as I found, I've used it. It is enamel. Um, I was always scared of enamels, but this is this stuff is great. So, but the primer we use the primer first, so it's all primed down. Then what I've done, I've used the Alcloud 301 Micro Mesh Polishing Set. Just give it a light rub over, just to get rid of anything that shouldn't be there, hairs, dust, stuff we don't want to see. Um, that again is available from Alclad Direct. So if you get a chance, get some of that. Now, the big thing about getting a good metal finish is a good black black gloss black base. Now Alclad's Alk 305 firstly I've restated this before but this is not a primer. This needs to go over primer. It can be grey, it can be black depending on different shades that you want. But this stuff is absolutely brilliant. Um, it will give you an epic shine. And then again we'll go along underwater with the micro mesh cloths and give it a good um, polish up as well before we paint it with the um, it'll be airframe aluminium to begin with in different colors like duralium dark aluminium and so on so there you go anyway what we're going to do we're going to switch I've set already set the compressor at 35 psi you'll notice on here it says 15 psi it, it the, the higher the pressure the better this works so let's give us a good shake Now, you'll also see I'm wearing gloves because we don't want no grease fingerprints on here. Because obviously, with greasy fingerprints, it's going to make come through a lot worse. I mean, this has been drying now for a couple of days, so it's stone dry without any issues at all. That's only due to work commitments, mind you. Anyway, going back to this stuff, good shake, really give it a good shake. Uh, boom. she's ready now on my last video a gentleman asked about wearing a mask yes always wear a mask I have very very good ventilation here so I did take the risk last time of doing it without a mask on this time I won't be so my nice Norfolk twang is going to go into a softer Norfolk twang because of the mask in a moment so I'm going to get that ready, get that on. At, at the end of the day, you should always wear a mask to do these sort of things. Um, it's even a bit more difficult for me because I wear glasses, so they steam up, which is not good. But I'll eventually get myself a decent respirator. Okay, so let's squeeze that out of there. All right. TR1 airbrush, best airbrush I've ever used. Can't see me going back to a harder and steam back at all, although I used to swear by them. This thing is absolutely brilliant. Right, it's also available from Alclad. Right, so this puts a little in the colour cup. I'm going to be doing the whole aircraft, but I'm only going to show you a small part of it normally my videos are too long people don't watch them so I've got to cut it down a little bit right so that's in there and the cap on as usual put the lid back on the bottle for now check your spray I 
that's lovely okay right so what you're going to do now like i said we give this a good old polish with micro mesh and we're ready now to apply the gloss black now this will be very shiny when done just give it a quick blow make sure there's no dust on her now what we're going to do we're going to start at the wing tip and just literally go up and down in a striping motion you haven't got to cover this all in one hit you can always do it twice it's not an issue but just go up and down up and down gradually building the paint up then we'll do the other wing the reason for the up and down motion and leaving the actual model away is to simply stop the paint drying too fast with the air in the brush up and down with no problem at all and just gradually building up the shine Turn it around again. Keep the flow going. A bit more paint this time. This is very easily controllable with a TR1. And we'll build it all up. So we've got a nice black balance. Back to the other wing. And away we go again. As I said, just never finish on the model. Always finish off the model. And we'll do the fuselage at a different point. And you can see it at the moment I'm gradually getting that glossy finish that we're looking for so turn around once more get the air going and away we go like I said just build it up at the end of the day you're going to be polishing a lot of it off again so you want a good coat and then come back and the last one same again and we're building up the other line Ready to be polished underwater. And there you go. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it's starting to get to a point where she's ready to be polished up. So that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll do the whole thing before we come back, before we paint the actual oil clads on or the actual metallic finishes. So I hope that helps a little bit and we'll go from there. Thank you very much.